Frank Coppola awaits death in the electric chair for a crime he committed in this house off J. Clyde Morris Boulevard in Newport News. It was April 22, 1978. Coppola and two others came to this house to rob used car dealer Peyton Hatchell and his wife Muriel. Muriel, however, was alone in the house at the time. She let the trio inside. They were after money and were convinced Mrs. Hatchell had it. She was tied to a bed and beaten to death. Her husband, who came home while the attackers were still inside, was beaten too, but survived. They escaped the scene in his car, but within two weeks, four people were under arrest. Willard Robinson, then and now Commonwealth Attorney of Newport News, says it was an awful crime. The brutality and the premeditated planning for the robbery and, and the beating, I think anyone would categorize it as a, a brutal, horrible crime. The first to be tried was Joel Miltier. A Newport News jury found him guilty of capital murder, but sentenced him not to death, but to life in prison. Donna Mills, who testified against the other defendants, was also found guilty. She, too, was sent to prison for life. Karen Coppola, Frank's ex-wife, who drove the getaway car, received 21 years behind bars. Frank, a former Portsmouth policeman who attended Old Dominion University for a year and a half on a basketball scholarship, was, like Miltier, found guilty of capital murder. His trial in September 1978 took nearly a week. The testimony filled several volumes. Coppola pleaded not guilty, saying he wasn't at the scene, but Commonwealth Attorney Robinson convinced the jury that it was Coppola who masterminded the crime. It was Mrs. Hatchell's primary assailant and therefore should be executed. The death penalty is geared toward the one who does the killing. And that is a category I think that Mr. Coppola fit in. The jury agreed. Coppola appealed his sentence to both state and federal courts and could have continued that process. But suddenly, well, this past April, he fired his attorney, uh, Augustus Aninas of Norfolk, saying he had decided to forego time. all further they legal be, uh, challenges. So on August 10th, in less than a month, Frank Coppola is scheduled to die in the electric chair. Or will he? We'll look deeper tomorrow.